Right now, so many people are out of work. Their kids are out of school because of the oppressive nature of the communist regime, their inability to come forward with the truth early enough with respect to the coronavirus. They're continuing disinformation about it in terms of their own deaths, in terms of the contagion level of this uh, virus has exacerbated, and I encourage all of my colleagues and everyone that has a platform to speak up. You know, look, there is nothing that a communist dislikes more than the truth spoken freely. 美国联邦通信委员会委员布伦丹卡尔表示，信息审查欺瞒疫情、出自共产党的残暴本性，给美国乃至全世界带来巨大灾难。I think the everyday American is now feeling the consequence of that censorship. I mean, think back again to the end of last year, December and January. You had hero doctors that were sounding the alarm, trying to tell the world about COVID-19. And the Communist Party of China clamped down on that immediately. 不久前，卡尔发推文质问中共外交部发言人赵立坚，戳破其谎言。It's always the right time to speak truth to the communists that are running that regime, because frankly, the Chinese people are the ones that are most directly and most often brutalized by the communist regime. And so, I think we should all stand up for them when they have the courage to stand up to these brutal communist leaders. 美国联邦通信委员会负责规范全国广播、电视、有线、卫星和电缆的国内外通讯。去年 ，FCC 针对华为、中兴等有中共背景的通讯公司发出禁令。卡尔表示 ，FCC 会调查更多与中共有关联的通讯公司。I've called on the FCC and for the national security agencies to take a look at each and every one of those companies, effectively to do a top-to-bottom review. Of all companies that may be owned or controlled by the communist regime, not only are you based in China, but what are the ties and relationships to the communist regime? 关于 5G 技术，卡尔表示，美国比华为更有优势，有实力为美国及世界提供安全可靠的 5G 通讯。4G was built on these bespoke, expensive pieces of hardware where Huawei and Chinese manufacturers had an advantage.、Uh, 5G has been built more on software. When you compete on software, U.S. companies have an advantage. If our 5G networks are insecure, every single thing that we value in life is going to be insecure. Carr 表示，这次疫情让美国人深刻意识到应该改变过去那种软弱的外交政策了。And so I think for the first time, Americans outside of this traditional foreign policy circle are feeling very directly, very personally, the impacts of this communist regime. And I don't think we can afford to go back to a weak and timid foreign policy. So I think we are, for the first time, showing real strength,、uh, and the value and merit of doing that is being shown, I think, to every American right now. 新唐人电视，纽约报道。